This is a sponsored ad by Kenny Customs. Head over to the website for all the interior upgrade solutions. They have a wide range of items from UHF holders to custom gauge mounts. For more information, contact Kenny Customs via email on shop at kennycustoms.com.au or the mobile number that you see on the screen. Let's get to it. Today I am replacing the sat nav. It is useless this day and age. Um, I've tried using it. I, I'm guessing everybody has who, who has it. Um, yeah, it, it's useless. Your phone sits beautifully in that slot and Google Maps does the job. It's more accurate and it's more simple to use. So this blue screen, it's annoying and um, you have to keep getting the remote to get out of it. But yeah, so I spoke to Kenny Customs and I asked him to create this. It's a change from the three gauge. I wanted a two gauge with a bit of a canter. So it leans towards the driver or directs more towards the driver. And um, yeah, this is a prototype at the moment. As you can see, it's not 100% it's not polished, but um, it is, it is a um, sort of complete working piece. He will finish it and touch it up when um, when I give him a feedback how it fits in here. So far, from what I can see, that the the colours are good. It just needs to be more more um, sanded, but that can all be done fine tuned in the I guess in the production process. This one is obviously just a prototype, so it's just to see if it fits and how the gauges sit and all that sort of um, mumbo jumbo. All right, let's get to it. To start with, two screws. For me, one screw. I don't know, every time I work on the cars, um, screws go missing. I should buy a bag, but yeah. So you got one screw there and one screw there. You remove them and then I'll show you how to pop it off. So once you've um, undone your two screws, you just, there's a, you gotta push down with both hands. I just sort of pulled it off. That's pretty much it. Um, if you are working on your head unit, uh, you can undo, well, unplug the two plugs for your hazard and demist the switches. So you can do that or pull the whole switches out or whatever. But um, yeah. So for now, I'm not working on my head unit. I'll be working on this piece, which is three screws. So I'll undo them, pull it out, undo the screws, remove the sat nav, which will go into the bin, and then install this. All right, so now that the screws have been removed, the whole unit can basically just sort of get pulled out. You gotta, I think, detach it from, um, detach it from inside but it's a bit tricky with one hand I'll pause it and I'll pull it out and I'll keep going with the video okay so the top part got caught up um, now I just did notice that the the dash is sort of glued to it in a way and um, yeah that's why it was a bit sticky on the top here I can still feel it's a bit sticky and there's a clip there as well so I'll pull this out and we'll see what, what's there to do. So for now, it's a cable. It's a cable for the sat nav. So I'll remove the cables. Um, what do you have? It looks like. Well, it's got a few cables, reverse camera, audio, a few other bits and bobs. I'll remove all that. And then we'll clean it up and we'll see how, how we go from there. It looks pretty simple by, by, the, by the looks of it. So the top screws go here. And that, that'd be it really with the fascia. It seems like, look, 10 minute job. Yeah, 10 minute job. Two screws, three screws, pop it out, four screws, as you can see. So one, two, bottom two, three, four, put the fascia on, pop your gauges in, and ready, and away you go. So 
I guess the hardest part of this whole challenge is actually, for me, oil temp. Now, I had this gauge lying around for about two years, so I will use it. It saved me, I guess, 60 bucks, 70 bucks. I'll use the oil temp. Now, it's going to be a mission to install, but I will get a water temp on the side as well because that's a little bit easier to install and a little bit more accurate than your factory um, than your factory uh, reading. So, I'll remove the sat-nav and I'll get back to you in a sec. So, I've just pulled it out, put it on my lap. They're the bottom screws, two screws, and they are the top screws. So let's undo that and um, there, install the the gauge fascia. Ooh, let's have a look in here. Dust level is not bad. It's not bad at all. But um, these cables, I will probably just tuck in somewhere at the back. Yeah, I'll tuck it in, make it look sort of, put it somewhere where it's not going to rattle when you're out, out in the bush. All right, I'll continue with this. All right, so I've replaced the screws. Oh, well, yeah, put them back on with the, the gauge holder. Let's have a look and see how it looks. All right, I think it looks quite good. That's how it looks which I really, really like. Now, there could be some tweaks here and there with the design, but I doubt once I actually push it in and everything, it's gonna be noticeable. I think that this is great. Just obviously, you can see that the paint works a little bit different to your factory um, dash piece, that he will um, polish that off, so, or the company will. So yeah, this is just, a, as I said, prototype. Let's put this all back together and see, see how we go okay. jobs done after initial observation um, you can see that well, my face is here and I'm 180 centimeters but yeah you can see the canter is pretty spot-on I did speak to Kenny just just now and um, he did say that he's gonna finalize the paint job the paintwork because he did just leave it rough as it, as it is a prototype now. He will correct the, the curvature up the top to fill in nicely and he will probably add a mill on the bottom as well so that way it's, it fits nice and snug so it's nice and tight kind of to give that kind of seam. But um, yeah, other than that, quite a simple, simple process. Looks quite good and I can't really complain. It's gonna look really nice without the the bright blue screen when I'm out in the bush at night. So it's gonna be nice and um, pleasant. It'd be a good change and it'd give readings. Um, yeah, so got oil temp and oil pressure, but yeah, I will change them up.